meantime, Chicago police and also Democratic convention planners are watching very closely what's happening up here in Milwaukee to try to get a better gauge on what to expect in Chicago next month. Our political reporter, Chris Ty, is live now. He's up here in Milwaukee with us and has more on why they are cautiously optimistic. Chris. That's right, Joe. Of course, the cities are different. The layouts of these conventions are different. We're expecting more protesters in Chicago than they see here in Milwaukee. But we talked to leaders of both Chicago police and protest organizers who are both sensing here at the halfway point of the RNC that things could very likely go much more smoothly in Chicago than some people have feared more positive than we even could have imagined. Omar Flores spent two years preparing Milwaukee's convention protests. Largely limited to one night, 120 groups, 3,000 protesters. His coalition to march on the RNC won its fight with the city to be within sight and sound of the convention, similar to arguments made by Chicago protesters. Up here, it was free of friction, arrests, and unrest. So is it too optimistic to think that since it's going well in Milwaukee, it's going to go well in Chicago? No, not at all. I, as I had mentioned, um, you know, the coalition of March on the DNC, they're uh, taking a lot from our playbook. That playbook has one item that Flores remains concerned about. Tuesday's shooting by an out-of-town police officer here to provide support for the convention. It's a scenario he worried about. Bringing outside agencies just roaming free around a, a community they're unfamiliar with is a recipe for disaster. Does that give you pause on how to use out-of-town police? Um, no, with Chicago, we're, we're using the, the out-of-town differently. Dwayne DeVries heads counterterrorism for Chicago police. He says with the exception of Milwaukee police, all assisting agencies for the DNC will be from within Illinois. No out-of-Chicago police will be doing neighborhood patrol. Correct. Chicago police will handle the neighborhoods. Unlike Milwaukee, our convention straddles two venues, McCormick Place and the United Center. Protesters largely limited to Union Park, a few blocks from the UC. And more protesters are expected in Chicago since it's the convention of the incumbent candidate. Still, the lesson from Milwaukee seems to strike an optimistic note. You know, I think it's really going to be a good thing for Chicago, right? I think what we've proven here is that we can host a family-friendly protest with a broad coalition of people and to have our voices heard. Chicago police leadership were here today kind of studying how things are working well and maybe not working so well in Milwaukee. Joe, there are 80 Chicago police officers helping assist on a daily basis, largely working the overnight shift here at the RNC. Yeah, we've seen them on our way out after the late news. Chris, it'll be here before you know it. Thanks very much. We'll talk with you soon.